In this demo, I'll be showing you how to use Platform for AI, also called Pi, to train a machine learning model. And in this case, the model is pre-trained. What that means is that the model is already customized to perform a particular task, and it's already been trained on some input data provided by Alibaba Cloud. Uh, the advantage of that is that when you train the model to work on your data, you can get by with uh, much less training data than you would traditionally need. Uh, in today's demo, we'll be training a system to classify cats and dogs. I have only 10 images of cats and 10 images of dogs as my training input. Uh, normally, if you were starting from scratch, you would need hundreds of thousands or maybe even millions of images to get an accurate result. But because this model is a pre-trained image classifier, it can do a good job even with small sets of images. So I'm here on the console homepage, and the first thing I need to do is find Pi from the uh, Products and Services menu here. Here it is, Machine Learning Platform for AI under DT+. We'll navigate over to that console, uh, and the first thing I'll need to do is choose a region. Uh, in this case, I have selected Shanghai. And you can see down at the bottom here that under Auto Learning, uh, there's this Computer Vision Model example. So that's what we're going to use. There's actually three different pre-trained models available. One is OCR, um, so this is for recognizing text. One is for uh, classifying images, and one is for detecting a particular object. So you might be able to locate objects like faces or dogs or cats or bananas or whatever inside of an image. What we're going to be doing is building a classifier. Um, you can see I've actually already done this once. Uh, for the purposes of the demo, I'll delete this old classifier and we'll create a brand new one. So I'll click on Create an Instance, and I'll call it Dog Cat Classifier. Classifier for cats and dogs will be the description. And then I'll click Create, and that will go ahead and create this new instance for me. Uh, I can then click Open, and that will take me over to the, the project page for this new instance that I've created. There's three steps. I need to prep my data. I need to perform the actual training itself, which the system will do for me. Uh, and then I need to go ahead and, and deploy the model. So let's go through that now. So the first thing I need to do is to import new data. The data needs to be in OSS in Shanghai. So what I need to do actually is go back over here and open up a new tab for myself uh, pointing to the OSS service. I haven't uploaded those images yet. I'll go ahead and do that right now. We'll start by creating a bucket. Call it dogs and cats. Uh, the region should be the same region as where we just created that Pi instance, which is uh, Shanghai. So give me a minute to find Shanghai. There it is. Um, it can be private. And then I'll click OK. OK. And I need to create two folders in here, which will be used as my category labels. Um, so actually, before I upload anything, I'll create a dogs folder. Oops, and then we'll, we'll, we, 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 won't, we won't upload just yet. I still need a cats folder. There we go. Now I can start uploading my training data. So for cats, I'll click on Upload. I'll go here, click on this Upload dialog, go to my desktop. Uh, we'll go to uh, Train, and then uh, Dogs. And then we'll take these 10 dog photos and stick them into OSS. Oh shoot, that was the cats folder. So I made a mistake, I put these in the wrong folder. Uh, that's okay, there's a batch delete function inside of uh, OSS, so I can batch delete from there. Then try again, this time with the cat photos. So let's go back to training and cats, and we'll get our cat photos and upload them here. Great, looks like we're done. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's my 10 cat photos, let's go back. Go over to dogs, do the same thing, upload 10 dog photos. Okay, uh, once again I just wait for the upload to complete, which is very fast. I'm in Hangzhou, which is very near to Shanghai, so, so the upload is very fast. Now I can go back to my data sets, click new data set, and I'll call it dog cat data, dog and cat data set. And then I'll go ahead and choose the path to the OSS bucket that contains my cats and dogs. Uh, you can see there's the two folders. Uh, the bucket I selected is dogs and cats, that's correct. And I click OK, and I click Confirm, and that should import my data for me. Okay, great. So we can now see that there are 20 photos here. 
So now I need to move on to the labeling step. Oops, uh, looks like I need to make, there we go, I just need to wait for the import to finish. I wasn't pa patient enough. Um, uh, it may even pre-label these for me, which would be great. Let's preview this. Um, labeled images 20, that suggests they've all been labeled. Um, so let's see, let's check on the dog label. Great, that looks correct. There are my 10 dogs. Um, let's change this out for the cats label. And there are my cats. So you can see that already the data has been pre-tagged based on what directory it was in in OSS. So now we can move on to the training step now that we have labeled data. So I'll go ahead and click on training tasks up here at the top. Uh, we create a new task. Uh, we have to choose a name for this. I'll call it cat dog train. Uh, train model on cats and dogs. Uh, for the description, we'll go to the next test, or the next section, excuse me. I'll select the 20 labeled images, uh, 10 dogs and 10 cats, uh, which we're going to use to train our model. And then I will choose whether I want high performance or high precision. So we're going to actually just go for high performance here. So this way, uh, if we have a mainstream mobile phone, we'll be able to point it at a cat or a dog, uh, make a call against the API that will be generated after we finish training our model, and it will tell us uh, a confidence score for how likely the thing we pointed our camera at is to be a cat versus a dog. Uh, and this is actually free because it's in public beta, so I'm doing all of this for zero dollars. And I'm going to do my training on a NVIDIA P100. And I'll just click Start, and that will start the training. Uh, once the training has started, we'll have to wait a while. Um, so while this task is running, you can actually get a list uh, of information about the running task, including the training process status. Uh, right now it's in the preparing state. Uh, after it gets started, then we'll be able to see some logs and other information about the training itself. Um, we might have to wait a few seconds or a few minutes for that. So what I'm going to do is fast forward to the end when the training is done and show you how well the model did because this part of the process is entirely automatic. You don't need to do anything yourself. So, I, so we can safely, safely skip this part. We'll just wait for the training to complete and then I'll show you the results. So it's been about 20 minutes. Let's go back and look at the training process. So we'll click on the training process tab here, uh, and you can see that it's gone through two rounds of training uh, and finally has completed. Uh, and if I want, I can click on these tabs and see what the status of the tasks is, uh, when they started, when they finished, all of that wonderful stuff. Um, so now I can actually go ahead and deploy my model if I want. So if I click on Model and Deploy, I can see the accuracy score, loss, model size, and I can even deploy it through Pi EAS. We have a service called Elastic Algorithm Service for deploying machine learning models. In this case, I'm not going to do that though. What I'm going to do is go ahead and scan this QR code with Alipay, actually, on my phone. And then once I've done that, uh, I should be able to pull up pictures of cats and dogs on my computer and scan them. So we're going to give that a try. So now I'll go ahead and switch over to my phone and go ahead and scan this QR code. I'm going to open up Alipay, uh, and then we'll go ahead and scan the QR code that I showed you just a moment ago. Let's pull that up. Here we go, I'm opening Alipay. I'll just click on the scan button. Sorry about this, I've got my Alipay set up in Chinese. I need to scan that code. Okay, I've scanned the code. Uh, I should now be able to point my camera at an object and get a rating for whether it's a cat or a dog. So I'll open up the test uh, folder which contains the cats and dogs we have not seen before and we'll try ourselves out on a couple of examples. Give me a moment here to open these up in the preview pane. Okay, let's make that full screen. Zoom in a little bit. Alright, so this says... Let's zoom it in. Cats, 0.7, dogs, 0.3. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, so that is indeed a cat. Let's see here, We've got another one, ooh, big one. Okay, zooming it out. Mm, okay, so the system doesn't do so well on this particular image. Um, it could be uh, that it's too similar to some of the, the dog images, but uh, that's okay, system's still doing pretty well. Uh, let's take a look at this cat here. 
Yep, 0.7 for cats, 0.3 for dogs. Great. Okay, so this one, uh, this gives the system a little bit of trouble. It thinks this is a dog for some reason. Now let's go check out the dogs. This should be interesting because there's so much more variation in the way the dogs in the training set looked than the cats. So let's see, we get 0.9 for dog on this. That's great. Uh, let's switch to another dog. 0.9 and another dog. This one manages a 0 0.6 or a 0.7. Perfect. All right, so with the exception of one error, the system did really, really well, and that's on uh, the basis of just a little tiny bit of training data. And of course, it's also worth keeping in mind that uh, we didn't choose the most accurate mode. Uh, there were two modes we could have chosen when we did the training. One of them was a more accurate, a high precision classification, and one of them was high speed, and we chose the high speed one. So we might be able to do even better with the high accuracy uh, training method.